hello everyone i hope everyone who is watching here today is having a great day welcome or uh, welcome back to my channel so if you are here you probably saw the shorts to this video and you are probably here to see how they came together so let's get into this video so i can let you know firstly i used poly gel oh well actually i started off by using a different type of nails this time i'm not using full cover tips i'm using these half tips because i want to see uh how will they work because i i'm always trying something new and something different so that i can find the one way of doing aquarium nails and I'll be able to choose which one is either easy for me and then maybe I'll stick to that one or you know different reasons for different ways but this one it was mostly because of the length and I wanted to see how I will be able to build an aquarium set using half tips because they need to be built up so I used um, this poly gel for the cuticle area and then later on I fill up the nails using um, builder gel so um this is what i'm using this time to try and um, see how it will work um i i'm glad i chose this color it looks a lot more natural <laughs> and um so let's see how will this come out to be honest i was a bit nervous trying this out with half cover tips because i know building up the nail to be uh, a full nice round shape oval size shape it will it will take a lot of building um building up the nail with the with the clear builder gel and i just don't like the curing part of it so much you know poly poly gel is better than builder gel i think as far as the, the amount of times you will need to cure so that's what got me nervous but i obviously wanted to try this out and i'm happy i tried this out because at the end of it i i loved it and i think i'm gonna do more do do more poly gel nails or half tip nails because these came out great i love them and they were easier to work with they were a lot faster to work with them i took uh, plus minus three hours to do these and imagine if I had to play the, this video in real time for you guys. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit through a three hour video of nails. But anyway, I mean, no, not nobody. Of me talking about the same thing with nails and I'm not much of a talker. So there you go. Didn't put you through that. So, all right, over here, I am finishing off my base coat the the base coat is finished the the, the the brush doesn't even reach the bot um, the bottom of the bottle anymore so i decided to use it as part of the 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 what's this the tab for the base of the of the, of the tank so i used it first and because it was so little and thin i added a uh, builder gel on top of that to make the layer a bit thicker and more stronger but it was still flexible it is still flexible and i made them the size of my nails and a bit longer for me to be able to work on putting things in if uh, it's your first time here you you will see how i do it for the head but if you you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about okay and my builder gel is quite um this its viscosity is very uh runny so i had to learn to work fast with it because when i would tilt it to one side everything just runs to the one side but it's also good for self-leveling so here i'm done curing it and now i'm cleaning the tacky layer off and it took a lot of cleaning because it was just that type of poly um that type of builder gel i don't know what kind it is but it was good i love it after cleaning it up it wasn't tacky anymore obviously and then obviously i remove it from here and then i add as you'll see up ahead i add a colorful reflective 
transfer foil so that I could have a nice um, reflective background. And how I stick that reflective foil is, I mean, yeah, that foil, transfer foil is through this, the same process as you would do when you are doing transfer foil. So I put this um, glue, I waited for it to dry off, and then I put on the um, reflective paper. So here I've done the um, transfer foil and now everything is dry and ready to be used. So I'm cutting these into four different sizes for the four middle, for the four fingers that I'm going to be using minus the thumb. And I'm just double checking if they fit well and if they will fit well. And just before putting them on, I obviously have to create these stoppers <laughs> i'll use them I'll, I'll call them stoppers or you know these stopper tabs the ones that fit behind the nail so that uh, the base the bottom part of the um, tank can um, stick to it and then here i'm just taking a um a drill bit just to rough enough the surface where the tabs those small stoppers tap it pick up your cup tabs, stoppers, whatever you want to call them, so that they can ad adhere nicely onto the nail because, you know, the, the these nails are um, slippery and all that at the bottom. So you can either do this or you can clean it up with, uh, what do you call that? Alcohol. Yeah, just so that it's, it's not, it doesn't slip out. So I'm just shaping these into um, the perfect size to be able to fit in there. This is how I do it. I'm only going to show you the one <laughs> tab, but you'll get the idea for the rest of the tab. But um, you can use anything. You can cut it with scissors or you can, but I find it to be easier and quicker for me if I do it this way and I just keep measuring it. And then I take the nail glue and I stick it on. And after it has adhered, I double check that it has it is it's sitting properly and then I go in with a no wipe top coat on the inside and then I seal making sure that all the holes around it are nicely sealed and that way I know that there won't be any leakage as far as you know when I uh, put in the baby oil all right and then now I use the same uh, nail glue to <laughs> to stick this tab the base on and as you can see i i was too busy worried about it sticking to the to the small round tab then i was concentrating on it being straight so the small finger the pinky is a bit crooked but luckily everything is still fine and it's still in and i go in later as you will see um i double seal and triple seal with a no white top coat a a a uh one of the viewers suggested that i use a no white top coat and i took your idea and your suggestion if you're watching here thank you very much and i i'm doing the same thing using the exact same uh no white top coat this prevents it prevents anything that now goes into the tank uh, from being sticky, you know that ta uh, tacky layer of gel. If it's a no wipe, if it's um, a, if it has that uh, tacky layer, then when it goes inside the tank, even though it's cured, it will still stick. Make your things that you put in there stick to each other or stick to the wall of the tank. So I stuck all the four tabs onto the four nails. And then now I was cutting off the tabs underneath and I'm, file, I'm cutting off the excess from the sides. Here I'm just double checking because as I was cutting, I saw movement of, on, um, on, on this tab. So I thought maybe it, it lifted, like the gel lifted from the, 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 the nail. So I was double checking if it's going to have a leak. And luckily, specifically that nail 
it did not have an, a leak so okay i cut them i cut the excess off on the sides but i leave the top again and then here i'm going in with the drill bit a fine uh, drill bit to cut uh, to file uh, to file down and sand down the um, the back and on and the sides of the tank um i'm trying to turn i just realized as i was filing that maybe the camera won't be able to see is <laughs> not able to see so i keep trying to remember trying to remember that i must not do this for me to see and it's actually for the camera to see so every now and then you'll see i keep turning and changing position just to correct myself and correct my angle bear with me i'm still it's still not it still hasn't become second nature you know to remember to record for the camera instead of record for me okay that's what i do here and i'll be doing that for the rest of the nails Alright, after filing everything closest to the, um, like very very close to the tank, it's um, time to seal the sides with another layer of no wipe top coat and now I'm sealing everything and everywhere I had filed just to make sure that everything is sealed and then I double check if everything is sealed and then I now now this is the time where i shape the nails straight like to be perfect no bumps no lumps no ragged uh, jagged edges like everything from here on is smooth i'm now working on making it smooth you'll see after i file i double check and i double check and i double check that everything is fine because from here on i know that everything is sealed and everything is fine i'm just shaping it to be a perfect tank in every sense of the word <laughs> maybe i'm doing too much but i want it to be perfect i always want my tanks to be perfect and i learned from the previous mistakes from the previous tanks where i made a mistake if they are too bulky here and there and i check you know is would it have been possible if i filed a little more would it have leaked and all that so that's what i do as i'm filing so everything as you can see looks good and there was no leak none of these nails leaked except my thumb and it won't be here because 
for the thumb i recorded it separately for the shorts but that's the only nail that leaked of all these nails <laughs> so we're going in stuffing what are these things called i keep calling them stuffings tank stuffings but okay i'm stuffing the stuffings of the tanks they are hearts they are glitters they are different color hearts and yeah that's it i think that's all i can so it's red glitter gold hearts red hearts white hearts and baby oil <laughs> that's it for here for now just keep watching <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, one of the lessons I learned earlier in me learning how to make uh, aquarium nails is that you don't overfill your nails, even if there's like space, but you don't overdo it because then eventually others stick to each other and then they just don't want to move without the other ones. They I don't know what they do to each other or with each other that they end up just sticking to each other when there's just a little too many but then sometimes when it's a little less it is perfect that's where the term less is more comes in and it is a perfect expression for aquarium nails less is more and it becomes even more beautiful and remember i don't like bubbles in my tanks so any bubbles that are there they came in you know by accident and it wasn't intentional if i could i would remove all bubbles from all my um, aquarium nails but it's something that you don't really you can't really avoid but like all the time or let me say me just yet maybe i'll find a way to eliminate all bubbles later on in my journey so but that's what i'm doing here stuffing everything up baby oil and less is more okay after i put the tabs on the top after i've uh, filled the tank up with uh, baby oil and I've cut them down and sealed it I make sure that after I put the tab on and I've cured it I go over that tab again one last time soaking the heck out of it with no white top coat again and to stick this tabs, these tabs on again I use I use no no white top coat so yeah and then I file them down guys don't kick me i already did that to myself i kicked myself over and over and over again for this battery died i didn't realize battery died also this is the following day after i i i well, after the battery died and i was already halfway recording uh what's this old thought i was recording um putting on the 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 builder gel but builder gel is already on now I am sorry to those who probably wanted to see me do the 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 build a gel process but don't worry about it I think I'm in love with doing this kind of aquarium with the poly gel with the half tip so I will have to do more of this so you can see it in my future videos so don't worry if it was of that importance to you to see and i love them because they are a lot narrower than all the others that i've used before which makes them less heavy and they they feel a lot more natural and so i think i'm gonna go with this again or maybe try it again and see how it will go but i loved love them so much so i put stickers 
on the on the on the nail before I put the builder gel on. And these two last stickers that you see here are just the last two because there were some areas that were bare or barren. But then also I had to put Cupid shooting his arrow. <laughs> and then I put some red rhinestones, one with a heart and going to smaller sizes and there are lips. Oh, and I put white hearts too. Uh, charms. Anyway, I think that's it for this video, okay? Because the rest of the video, I'm just showing off the movement of the tanks, how the the insides move so nicely and free, freely. They free flow, but from the from time to time, they need a little nudging, but not too much. So, but I actually love these nails. I am so very, very happy with them. I love the idea that I came up with of having a, a reflective background. And I actually had them on for three days and two nights. Slept with them and yeah, two nights I had them in two days. I worked with them. I did housework with them without them even popping off. I had to really soak them like for long compared to other nails that I pop off soak and pop off because somehow acrylic and gel they they take forever to eventually pop off but uh, none of them leaked after covering them all up in those three days and two nights and actually i'm hoping that you guys love them uh, and see the beauty that i see in them and i hope you picked up something from this video and I'd love it if you notice something that you'd like me to change or try out differently. And you let me know in the comment section below. Actually, I would love it if you suggest a theme that you think I should do for aquarium sets next. Uh, so that I can challenge myself. Anyway, remember, be gentle with me. Uh, I'm, I'm not a pro. I'm, I'll be doing it just to have fun. Okay, guys, I hope you have yourselves a great day further until we meet here again. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you very much.